Outside, you can see the warmth and the humidity, a little hazy over the river valley as we take a live look from our roof cam here at 7 Burlington Station. 70 at the airport, that dew point creeping back up into the uncomfortable mid and upper 60s. There is a cold front off to our north, a little wave along that front producing thunderstorms overnight across central Nebraska. Those are pushing the clouds in our direction, but we stay dry as those thunderstorms will fizzle out before they move east. Look at off to our north. North of this front, dew points are in the very comfortable low to mid 50s. But that's not going to get here for quite some time. That front slowly sags southward this morning. We'll say partly to mostly cloudy through the first half of the day. There it is. There's the front over Omaha at noon. Temperatures in the mid 80s. Winds turn around to the northwest behind that front. And it is possible that we see a couple of spotty showers and storms along that front. But I think the best chances will be south and west of the Omaha metro. If Omaha does see any of it, it would likely be early in the afternoon, not affecting the College World Series later today. High temperatures in the upper 80s and low 90s from Omaha to the south. And remember, it will still be humid this evening. So if you are going to the Wildcat Chanticleers game, game one of the finals, it is going to be muggy all through the night. A typical College World Series game. Temperatures at 10 o'clock in the low to mid 70s. That lower humidity doesn't arrive until late tonight. And we have a beautiful day coming up tomorrow. 83 degrees, mostly sunny. Hopefully they get the College World Series finals wrapped up in two games because rain chances go up on Wednesday and temperatures drop into the upper 70s. And we'll keep low to mid 80s in the forecast with isolated storm chances through the upcoming weekend.